Oh, hi there, I'm Guy Fox. As says the philosopher in Colnetics, the creation of a folded chicken's offspring, or other likewise eggy breakfast, is a task not to be undertaken by the unskilled and untrained. Whereas, if one has had the schooling and education necessary to make one fit for culinary excellence, one may attempt to master the fittingness and beauty of a well-made omelet. I shall demonstrate the three principles of an omelet. The creation of a filling, the whisking of the eggs, and the cooking itself. The creation of a filling will be divided into two parts, the first of which will be the choosing of the items, and the second of which will be the mixing together of the aforementioned items. The whisking of the eggs shall be divided into three parts, namely the cracking of the eggs, the pouring of the eggs, and the beating of the eggs after which there will be a commercial break, in which the number of commercials will be two. And lastly, the cooking of the omelet, the longest of the three tasks, will be divided into three parts, the discharging of the eggs, the filling of the eggs, and lastly, the folding of the eggs. In this, the first of the two parts of the creation of the filling, I shall choose the items with which the omelet is to be filled based on the appropriateness and quiddity of each individual item. Firstly, I shall take the cheese, because, as the philosopher says, it is an essential ingredient of omelets, and indeed eggs in all forms. Also, it is derived from the essence of milk, which contained the nutrients that kept us alive in our infantile years. Of the other ingredients, I shall take the sausage and the bacon. As previously mentioned, secondly, I shall mix together the ingredients of the filling in such a manner that no essence is next to that of the same essence. Now, as the first item in the task of whisking the eggs, I shall crack them. The number of the eggs shall be two. After the aforementioned phase, whisk the eggs with the proper use of your vigor for the, according to the per se existence of culinary fashion. Now we will procure a short break in which two advertisements shall play, from which you should guard yourself well, lest your sense appetite get the better of you. Have you ever been so bored that you thought you'd go crazy? Behold, Le Bleu, Le Bleu, Le Bleu Bar. This product revolutionizes the way you think. Is that annoying older brother getting on your nerves? Oh. Or did someone else forget to bring their baseball to baseball? Or do you simply need an all-purpose quantum gravity to fire? A quantum who? I knew you would. And so come over to Untitled Store and get your label ball today. In regard to generating omelets, we have come to the last part of the procedure. So far, we have constructed a rightful filling and extracted the respective quiddities of egg white and yolk from their shells, combining them in unity by means of whisking. And now it is fitting to move on to the final step, the cooking of the omelet, which will be the last and longest of the three. 
In order to carry out the cooking properly, one must have a griddle of the dimensions of one and a half cubit by one cubit, and also of the essence of non-stick sauté. Firstly, discharge the eggs onto the griddle. On the contrary, sometimes the eggs wish to bond the griddle and are very unwilling to disband. Solution. <clears throat> if the griddle in your position has such a reputation as mentioned before, consider discharging butter before the eggs. Secondly, after discharging the eggs, apply the essence of heat so as to alter the form of the eggs to a solid golden state. At this point, the necessity of the filling that we prepared earlier grows, and so the next step unfolds, completing the eggs with filling. Take hold of the essence of a few tablespoons of that filling with washed hands and lay it as a line segment in proportion to the diameter of the egg. Lastly, fold the eggs with a spatula of liquidity of rubber heat resistant using the filling as a guideline. And thusly, by your own intellectual virtue and hard effort, you have made an omelette. Necessary to make one fit for proper fitting culinary, yeah. The creation of a folded chicken's offspring, or otherwise like we or other likewise agree I hate likewise and other. Um, the, the question here is, oops, based on liquidity and uh, something. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Whisk the eggs with the proper use of your vigor for culinary fashion and the parasite exists. Whisk the egg with. Oops. Discharge the eggs onto the pan. The group. <laughs> nope. Scoot over slightly. No. Stop. <laughs> this is not the Thomas Aquinas dancing show.